buy our merch indeed. A child shall lead them. To buy our merch, ladies and gentlemen, Dear we, listener, have we have something very thumbnails. new, very exciting going yeah, that on you've here. Never seen before. Yes. So Revo, the uh, the big homie, has decided <laughs> to do a DJ stream. But wait, not was, one, not two. Saying. Not three, not four, five, or six. He's going for, yeah, six streams in a row. Six so Monday through Saturday Revo this week. Revo week! <laughs> it is Revo week. Uh, it's this been has a been, long a, time yes, coming, he's been working on this for quite some time. So uh, this is kind of a unique stream. Um, he said, I've selected a week long list of songs from the 1950s and 1960s. These songs I selected are more for historical reasons than aesthetic reasons. So you may hate all of them, but they may bring commentary to their times. Example, if you go to a baseball game, one team wins and we are the champions blares over the speakers. True. We can infer why the song was chosen, why some people would be drunkenly singing loudly, others wanting the, uh, the song to stop, and a vast majority not caring about the game or why there is a ruckus. In the Greek sense of path pathos, is that yep. correct? Pathos in music and literature brings out emotions that are already built up in the listener. This is why you hear the phrase, you had to be there. I took some of these from a university history course I took over a decade ago on using songs and films as primary sources to analyze recent history. This may bring out an alternative way of looking at songs and their lyrics. First song is a jump blues song written and performed by Louis Jordan, grandfather of rock and roll. This song was released in 1949 by Decca Records. It was a crossover success between both the black and white charts. This and the next two reacts today are all Decca Records and producer A.R. Man Milt Gabler. In 1939, when Billie Holiday's record company, Columbia Records, refused to release Strange Fruit. Remember that song? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Milt Gabler independently released it through the through his record shop. The, su the success of that song landed him a job at Decca Records as a producer and A.R. man. All a right. and R. man. All right. So the first song on our list is Louis Jordan, Saturday Night Fish Fry. Well, sit back, relax, get your nostalgia on. Gonna be some black and white. It's gonna be some good times, dear listener. It's gonna be some good times. Also, uh, we spent a lot of our family time last night or two days ago. Working on our microphones. Working on our microphones, and Soraya found uh, an acceptable mic solution, I think. So hopefully, guys. Hopefully and you all agree. I, I messaged Middle Earth, and Middle Earth is here. I said, hey, man, you gotta show up. It's oldies day. All right. <laughs> here we go, guys. Saturday Night Fish Fry is song numero uno. Uh, let's go. Here we go. Fish Fry. If you ever been down to New Orleans, then you can understand it's what I mean. Now, all through the week, it's quiet as a mouse, but on Saturday night, they go from house to house. You don't have to pay to use the admission If you're the cook or the waiter or the good musician So if you happen to be just passing by Stopping at the Saturday Night Fish Fry It was rocking It was rocking You never seen such scuffling and shuffling Till the break of dawn It was rocking It was rocking You never seen such scuffling and shuffling Till the break of dawn Thing was now my buddy and me was on the main the stem, fooling around just me and him. We thought we could use a little something to eat, so we stopped in at a house on Rampart Street. We knocked on the door and it opened with ease, and a lush little miss said, "Come in, please." Before we could even bat an eye, we were right in the middle of a big fish fry. It was rocking, it was rocking. You never seen such gobbling and shoving till the break of dawn. It was rocking. It was rocking. You never seen such gobbling and shoving till the break of dawn. Now the folks was having the time of their life, and Sam was jiving Jimmy's wife, and over in the corner was a beat-up grand being played by a big fat piano man. 
<laughs> some of the chicks wore expensive frocks and some of them had on bobby socks but everybody was nice and high in particular saturday night fish fry it was rocking it was rocking you never see such government and shelf until the break of dawn it was rocking it was rocking You never see such cuffin' and shuffin' till the break of dawn. Yeah, now my buddy and me, we fell right in. We hollered, let the joy begin. We figured this was a good place to play, but the party was already underway. But all of a sudden, the lights went low, and everybody made straight for the front door. I didn't know where I was gonna go, so I stood right there and I fell on the floor. It was rockin', it was rockin'. You never see says come to that shop until the break of dawn. It was rocking. It was rocking. You never see says come to that shop until the break of dawn. Now the women was jumping and screaming and yelling. The bottles was flying and the fish was smelling. And way up above on the noise they made, somebody said, You better get out of here, this is a rage. Oh, no. I didn't know it was breaking the law. Somebody reached up and clipped me on the jaw. They had us blocked off from the front and the back, and they were putting us in the wagon like potato sacks. It wasn't rocking. Why? It wasn't rocking. You never see such coming and shoving till the break of dawn. It wasn't rocking. It wasn't rocking. You never see such coming and shoving till the break of dawn. I knew that I could get away if I had a chance. I was shaking like I had to say goodbye to Stan. I tried to crawl under a bathtub. The police were saying, come on out from under that bug. They took us all out of that house of fire and put us all in that black mirage. They might have missed a pitiful view, but they got both me and my buddy too. Aww. It was rocking. It was rocking. You never see such coming and shoving till the break of dawn. It was rocking. It was rocking. You never see such coming and shoving until the break of dawn. Then they took us to jail in a dazed condition. They booked each one of us on suspicion. My chick came down and went my bail, and while they got me out of that rotten jail. Now if you ever want to get a fist in your eye, just mention a Saturday night fish fry. I don't care how many fish in the sea, but. Don't you ever mention fish to me. It was rocking. It was rocking. You never seen such coming and shoving till the break of dawn. It was rocking. It was rocking. You never seen such coming and shoving until the break of dawn. Get away from that boy. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, I like that. <laughs> so, so this is just like straight up. This is straight up storytelling. Why did they get? Why did they get arrested though? It was a what? Because they, they were, were scuffling. It said scuffling and ruffling. Till yeah, the but they, it did not mean really. It sounded like they were just trying to have some fun. Well, it's funny to me. First of all, this is written in 1940. Okay, a couple... 1949. A couple things. Number one, calling uh, women chicks. Yeah, I didn't that, know... I didn't know that happened back then either. I thought, I thought that that was invented in like the 80s. Yeah, honestly, I did as well. <laughs> cool what we're saying in the 80s. Yeah. Uh, he, no, they're, they were calling girls chicks since... The, at least the 40s or the, the latest that's the 40s crazy huh? or, or the earliest of 40s what am i saying uh so so that that's disappointing i thought that like <laughs> the edges of our generation invented chicks i didn't even <laughs> of course i didn't hear about the word chicks until i came to this country well, the first time i heard chicks i literally thought they were talking about chickens my dad had chickens in the farm so it's like we're really? gonna go, they they they're gonna go to church. And we saw this commercial for like these kids like going to church, and then the the parent told the 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 guy there's gonna be some chicks there, 
And he's like, oh, well, I guess I can go, blah, 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 blah. And I'm, I just thought to myself, like, wow, those people in America really like chickens. Like, For <laughs> he convince his kid to go to church. Like, gosh, babe. And they're like, no, no, you idiot. Uh, like, yeah. women, girls. Ah. I was like, oh, yeah, of course, of course. So <laughs> I, I'm wondering if, did, if the cops got involved because, like, you know, negative vibes is saying maybe it was super intense. Or if this was, you know, back then, I mean, we were still dealing with a <laughs> lot like of... like a weekend for nothing. You still sound awful. Ah, uh, excellent. But just keep um, I hate my life. Go what ahead. was I saying? I'm checking to see what I sound I know. Like. Ahead, I, I, I understand that. But I, uh, you interrupted me and my, my baby brain is only working at like 50% for me. I'm like, no. Uh, oh, so I don't know if, so if this was back in the late forties, early fifties, I mean, so when was, wh when was Malcolm X? Malcolm? Yeah. He would have been around at this time period. I mean, he, he was, he was like Malcolm X in the sixties. Well, but. okay. So remember we saw that, uh, I, I don't remember. Oh, I guess it wasn't really necessarily based off like an actual event, but I'm sure it was inspired by actual events. So there was a bunch of black people. They were all having like a party and it really only got busted up because it was just a racist thing. You know what I'm saying? Like they just didn't want them and seeing them all like they're having fun and being loud and noisy. They just wanted it stopped. Yeah. So I don't know if the, if it was like something like that or if it was just like did the cops typically do this. The way that they explain it in the song, it doesn't even really sound like it was that bad. Like what they were doing or were the cops showing up. It made me laugh when he said... Um, it didn't really sound like the cops are that mean either. Right. Yeah, exactly. Like the whole thing. This part <laughs> reminded me of you. I knew I could get away if I only had a chance. <laughs> <laughs> but I was shaking like I had to, had the St. Vitus dance. Now I tried to crawl under a bathtub. <laughs> what? That did not remind me of you. <laughs> the bathtub part. But I would crawl under a bathtub? No, I feel like you'd figure out some like... <laughs> some Zorro way to exit. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they, they just sounded like they were having a really good time. The only part that made me say, well, I don't know. He, at the end, he was like, he doesn't want to hear anything about fish. <laughs> don't even mention a fish fry. So that tells me like, so maybe said, it was. punched in the eye. Yeah. Talk about fish. Yeah. So I'm like, maybe he was making it sound and it was a little bit more intense than, than that. I don't know. <laughs> Regardless, list. Uh, it was a really fun song, and it, that's probably the time period that I think would be fun. Like, the clothes that they wore, the way that they, well, I feel like, so, you know how I always tell you, I'm like, I really want to go to a club. You have to bring me some, to some clubs when we yeah. move. I do feel like I'm going to be, like, completely out of my, like, zone. And I'll be like, how, how do I, what are these people doing? How, they're moving their bodies like that? How are they doing that? You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I'm going to be completely out of place. And I'll be like, let's just leave. Uh, but I feel like that the type of dancing that they did then, I feel like that I could, <laughs> I could do just by watching somebody else do it. You're like, you know when you see them, like, it looked like it was a series of moves that any white person can do. You know, but now I feel like, I don't know, like sometimes I'm scrolling through TikTok and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Some of the way that people move. Um, so I, I, like this would be like the poodle skirts and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I, well, no, I, that'd be the fifties. Yeah. But skirts. this was 49. 49. So I guess they started the poodle skirts. I mean, yeah. So I could definitely. why this made both the white and the black charts why because it's so catchy the other thing too is like he used the term rockin yep uh, then your mic just died i just leaned forward see now touch that cord your mic died so my my mic is excellent right now <laughs> I see. Your mic is off, so mine mine is uh Okay, it must be back on now. Is your auto say something again? Hey, what's up? Yeah. It must be on now. Your mic is back, so yeah. I, I sound like Robocop again. 
Okay, so I I really enjoyed it. What what did you what did you, what did you get from it? Uh well, the other thing that I don't know if I don't know if it's distracted. It didn't distract me, but the the um the use of the term rocking, that was the other thing too that was fascinating to me. He okay. said we're rocking. I thought rock was something that came about in like the 60s. Oh. They were saying the term. He was saying rocking like the entire time since Yeah. I didn't think this that came out in the 60s. I, I thought that that was back then. But also, like, so not only was the music restricted with us growing up, but so was the the movies. So whenever we watched something, it was always super old. Like, I'm talking like It's a Wonderful Life sort of dating. Um, so we would see, like, a lot of, like, this type of stuff. This type of music, this type of setting. Um, so I, I was familiar with them saying rockin'. At that point, which to me was different than rock and roll, which okay, kind of surprised me when he said that he was the uh, he's the grandfather of rock and roll. But I guess this means it's the beginnings of rock and roll, not that it is rock and roll. OK, uh, well, nine point eight, nine point eight, nine point eight. Yeah. I'll give this one a. uh 8.7. I enjoyed it much more than an 8.7. Okay. Lewis Jordan, Saturday Night Fish Fry, y'all. Coming up next is another song, I guess, from the 50s. So, wait, Vin out, sorry out. Vin out. Sorry out. Go. Go. <laughs> 